They'd be like, Mars, what, can you teach me how you got your hair to make it look like you got dreads, but it ain't dreads because your hair in the fro right now, but I know you did something to it, and I know it's a twist, I just don't know, is it a two-strand twist, or is it a three-strand twist, or is it a braid or something, I just don't know, but I want to know, so can you help me, can you tell me, can you help me, please, sir? No. <laughs> look, it's your boy, Marge. Back with another video, and today I got. Why are you in your bathroom? Like I was saying, it's your boy Maj back with another video. Like the title said, you know, we got a finger coil tutorial for y'all today. Real simple, real easy. It's a style I like to do. I've been doing it for the past couple of years. Just something to change your look up every now and then. So, you know, as always, not finna over talk it. Just finna jump right into the setup. Show you everything you're gonna need before you start the process. All right, so here's everything you're gonna really need. You got a comb. You got a brush to like detangle your hair. Helps with keeping it soft and manageable. And then you have uh, your choice of a moisturizer, like a leave-in conditioner, and um, oil. And once you have all those, you're really set. You can go ahead and do the first step. Go ahead and wash your hair, shampoo it, condition it. Go ahead, detangle it in the shower so when you come out, it's just ready to be twisted. All right, so look, just got out the shower, um, washed it and conditioned it and detangled it. So the next step you wanna do is go ahead and grab your comb. Just go ahead and make one big part down the middle. So now that you have your hair parted down the middle, what I like to do is go ahead and take a rubber band, go ahead and section off this left side so that it makes it easier to work with the rest of your hair. Now it's like that. Then I come back and take the cone again and just make another part, cutting this in half. So if you see, just eyeball, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I come and take a second rubber band and I'm uh, section off this back part so I can just work on this part in the front. Now that I got my hair sectioned off, I can go ahead and start adding the leave-in conditioner and start moisturizing the hair. So I just got about this much for this whole section. And um, yeah, you just wanna start applying it through the hair and kind of like finger detangling it. Once you got your moisturizer in, you wanna go ahead and grab your oil and massage that in there as well, just to kind of lock in that moisture you just put in there. Notice how when I'm putting in the oil, I'm not kind of raking it through. I'm just kind of like, pressing it in there so that each strand is like coated with it. And then from this point, you can grab your um, uh, detangling brush and just work it in there from the ends up to the root first. All 
All right, so you moisturize your hair, you oiled it, you detangled it some more, made it soft and easier to twist. So the next step to do is go ahead and start finger coiling it. All right, so you got your section of hair. Now at this point, you could go ahead and grab your comb again and you know start going in and making like perfect parts. But if you're someone like me who kind of likes just that natural like look and don't really care about how neat the parts look, just go ahead and grab a piece of chunk of this section and make sure you grab the size of the coils you want it to be. So if you look here, I'm just going up with my finger and say I want mine to be about this big. So now this is the size of hair I'll work with. I can throw that to the back. Once you grab it, you wanna make sure when you're coiling your hair that you make it tight at the root right here because if you don't make it tight it will kind of be like an afro -y at the root and then the coils it'll just look odd all right so i'm showing you an example of what it looks like when you don't coil it tight at the root um, as you can see, it kind of looks a little puffy at the root there, and then the rest is um, coiled. So it just doesn't look neat. So to avoid that, what you want to do is just coil really tight in that one spot right at the root of your head. And then once you feel the tension kind of tightening on your hair, you can go ahead and start working it down through the rest of your hair. And then just keep repeating the process until that root starts to stay in that coiled form like this. All right, so this is what the coil should look like. As you can see, nice and tightly coiled around. Uh, you wanna make sure you're coiling them in the direction you want them to sit on your head. So as you can see, I was coiling them downwards, like it's gonna fall on my face. That's where I want them to lay. All right, so this is just one section done. Uh, I did about 11 uh, finger coils in here. So I try to repeat the process throughout all the sections in my head. And once I finish, I'll come back and show you the results. All right, so you finish coiling your whole head. The last and final step is to take, uh, you could use the same oil you was using. I like to use this oil, wild hair growth oil, uh, just to oil my scalp to promote, you know, healthy hair growth and keep that scalp uh, healthy and not dry uh, while you're wearing this protective style. So what I usually do is I just like go on this line, the, the part we created, and then I'll just start putting it everywhere on my scalp. And then I'll go back in. And uh, once I'm finished, I'll just massage it in my scalp. And uh, that'll be it.